Yo, yo, welcome back. Hope everyone's having a good Sunday. I have done a few changes just in my own time, just went over it again. And what I did was I did one change to the low end. So I ducked a couple more frequencies now that I've added the harmonics of um, the little labs. So I just ducked a couple of frequencies in the kick as well. I played the kick drum, just this real plonky high end. And that one too. So without it, just made it a bit darker. Just listening to another reference track too. Just pulling it back in line with the rumbles a little bit. And then I noticed that because I've added this bass harmonic, it's kind of pushed the rumble up in terms of loudness. So I actually brought the main delay rumble just down a dB to double check it with the limiter. So that's really helped as well. Give us a bit more headroom and a bit more clarity so it's not slapping the ceiling. Um, also, a little bit more focus on the lead. But one thing I did notice, listening back with fresh ears, listening to references, I might try and focus now on making the pads a little bit darker. And then I'm going to turn the lead off as well from now on just to really focus on uh, the filling of the synth shots and all that kind of stuff as well. I just feel it'll utilize it a lot more. So I'm going to try and find a bit of a darker voiced pad maybe. So I've noticed when I turn this off and then even these chords as well, the song's a lot darker. So we want that darkness. I really want it to be dark and not too bright and melodic sounding. So if I just play it from here, I'll let you guys have a listen. done that oh they're both playing at the same time because oh, i brought these notes back in yeah so i've just got to fix that apologies and then that can go through now
a side chain channel at the top, so I'm honestly going to just change this real quick. Maybe I'll put it, obviously, after the reverb. Uh, maybe I'll get, oh, I added a reverb. I'm not sure whether I like it or not, so I'm just going to turn it off. Turn the kickstart off. Side chain, side chain. And what I can do is, in the breakdown, just turn that off. Just get rid of the kickstart. I can always come back to it. It's all good. Got it in yesterday's version. Uh, and then I'll just save this really quickly as 21st. Just so I can come back. If need be. <clears throat> mm. So anyway. I feel like, yeah, it just needs to be a little bit darker. And that'll bring it back.
definitely need the rides to give us the power through this drop, so no, I won't get rid of them. Now I want to find. Hmm. Might bring this up here. There's some pretty cool basses. I just want to get the rhythmic section done again. So hone in more on the bass shots along with the perks and stuff. I love them, but I just feel like the whole pattern of 16 to 32 bars is just a bit too repetitive. actually bounce this out hey a bit of latency with the uid plugin so i might actually that's, that's what could be annoying me with the side chain of the lead what you can do as well is i can put it back 13 
really won't do that. <laughs> Don't try that at home. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I have to bounce it out. I see why people bounce their low ends out. That's good, it makes life easier. So Ableton's updated itself and look at that. It's like reverted to its factory settings. Always be careful of that kind of stuff. That's super annoying. Don't want that. Really don't want that. I don't know why it's doing that now. Maybe, just maybe put like a micro fade there like that or something. But yeah, you don't want much... Maybe put them at the end as well. And then I'm just going to copy them onto that channel now. There we go. Beautiful. And that's all the filter automation done. Yay. start saving some cpu i can actually delete this and then save it as a new version too and that way it's like low-end print version and i can always go back to it in an older version of the project if i need to but look at the source on that bad boy that is proper very nice so that's what we want just for everyone's information too it sounds super crisp and clear in the car and really nice and full so that's what we want um 20 minutes already. I'll milk it out for another five. 
and I got shit to do, so I don't want to be held up too much. But yeah, more or less, it's just really kind of filling in the blanks now. And it's annoying too, because this is stuff that takes a lot of time. Like it's not just a matter of, oh yeah, I'll grab like six base shots and they're all going to work and whatnot. Like this is where you go through libraries and like you spend a lot of time. And it it is annoying because I really want to try and smash it out. But at the same time, like I don't want to just smash it out for the sake of doing it for the channel and doing a shit product. Like this is how I write music and it is frustrating and it does take a lot of time. So like do bear with me as well. If you think that, uh, you know, we're just going to smash this out and it's all going to be done. Like, yeah, there's no point watching these videos because it's just not how it works. If you want to write good music, you've got to spend a lot of time on it. If you just want to smash shit out for the sake of putting it out on SoundCloud or whatever it is, it's just, yeah, it's, it's a different, it's a different beast. You can't, you can't compare the two. When you're trying to sign to labels and do all that stuff, you just, you have to take your time and, and do it properly. You know, don't half ass it. And just just really take the time to do it properly. Make sure all the samples are right. Make sure everything fits, you know. Uh, a lot of the time I will just kind of put things in as placeholders, as you've seen, and then go back and change them, the claps, for example. And now I'm not really happy with these ones. So it's just, it's all a process, you know. This is the joys of writing music. And I didn't want to sugarcoat it or dumb it down or hide anything. It's like, this is what you've actually got to do when you write music. This is the annoying part of it. And you're always second you're guessing yourself. Like I'm still second guessing myself going, you know, is this good enough? Should I run the lead through it in this way? Should I just grab these here and maybe just use them in the breakdown and then strip it back in the drop and all that. But that's how I do a lot of other songs too. So I'm trying to do it differently to how I would normally do it as well. So it's a bit of a um, good challenge because it's, you know, it's breaking out of the norm of how I normally do stuff. But yeah, other than that, everything's really going good it's just a matter of really kind of fine tuning all these other little elements and making sure everything stands out definitely want to change these pads uh, not those chords i like those chords they're really good especially through the breakdown i might try and just bring them down a little bit in the drops which i think i did i actually touched the automation on this yesterday yeah i did yeah i brought it down just a touch more and then same with there too it was just running through a bit hot from the start which does sound good maybe i'll change it back once i get the other elements in that i like but yeah i think this definitely needs to change, this pad. It's not bad, but I'll layer it. It's just a bit too high-pitched, and it just doesn't have that kind of droniness of, of being down low. So, all that. Lead melody is sounding a lot better. I don't think I changed the notes too much, but maybe watch it back and double-check. And then, other than that, yeah, we're, we're pretty good. Just a matter of smashing the hats, too. mixing stuff good fun I can just duplicate them through again
Beautiful. all those sounds out of oh yeah see I've already used that hat haven't I maybe I'll duplicate this and put that one in there as well so many layers let's just have a listen Why is there so much width on that? Hmm. I want more of like a white noise shaker layer, so it's not going to work. Delete that. What other sounds have we got there that I forgot about very quickly? I feel like I'm already using that one. claps okay that one can go now they're not going to use any of them That's kind of what I want to do is a bit more stuff like that, just lingering around by like the ear candy stuff. But yes, they're not the right. <laughs>
kind of like them there. Maybe you can really incorporate them over here to Sounds so good. Now with all that processing. Kick's still really nice and punchy, but it just doesn't have that plonkiness sound to it anymore. Like that boxy sound almost. It's really nice. It sounds really nice and controlled and even in terms of like how they are in contrast with one another. So that's ultimately what we want. Perfect. So yeah, we'll end it on a good note. Thank you guys so much. And we will really rip into the atmospheres and these ear candy things tomorrow. It should be really, really good. I'm looking forward to it. Nice to get off the leads. The leads sounding really good. So that was a big pushing shit uphill battle. But I think for the most part, like the majority of it's done now, it's just really going to be like filling it in, double checking the automations in transitions, all, all that kind of stuff. 
uh, get getting these claps sorted, a few more little perk layers, just just ear candy shit. So it'll be really good just to knock this over. I, I want to see I want to see it done as well. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow.